Welcome back to Wisconsin Tonight. A couple of weeks ago, we showed you this great video of a cheese head that was really sent up to the edge of space. Photographer rigged it all on a weather balloon. What a sight it is. Packer Land could not have been prouder. <laughs> that is so cool. Now tonight, the man who did it is right here to tell us about weather balloon photography. And he is John Flay. John, welcome. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about yourself. You're from Shorewood. Uh, yeah, that's right. And uh, I'm uh, one of a few people in the world who are uh, kind of pioneering the use of high altitude weather balloons for purely artistic purposes, photography. And I'm also an avid Packers fan, so yeah, uh, perfect this, combination. Uh, was a video I made was sort of a uh, marriage of the two things. So this wasn't doctored. I mean, this was really up. How high was this thing? That uh, went up to 114,000 feet. Wow. Which that is about uh, 15,000 feet higher than the highest yeah, spy plane. We've got some video behind us here, too, as it's well. It's incredible just to conceive. Now, John, you have, you're, you work with National Geographic. You're well respected. Can you tell about some other projects that you've been working on? Uh, well, uh, over the summer, I led a trip with some UWM students to uh, the Badlands of South Dakota, which I think was one of those images. Yeah, and we oh, did we're a few some more, too. Oh, wow. And. Um, uh, a couple weeks ago, I uh, filmed a, a product promotion for the rapper Wiz Khalifa. Is that and, right? Uh, <laughs> it's something that you're seeing more and more. Black and yellow. Never, never a boring moment, <laughs> is no. it? So, so how do you get to be a weather photographer, weather balloon photographer? Well, uh, a lot of trial and error, really, yeah. and uh, you have to educate yourself. And I think uh, people who are interested in trying this, uh, there's a great. Uh, event that's coming up in April called the Global Space Balloon Challenge. Uh -huh. And if you Google oh. that, uh, you can get a lot of tutorials and information about how to do this. So, you know, why are teachers in actually incorporating weather balloons now into their classrooms and curriculum? Yeah, that's right. It's a, uh, it's a really fun and adventurous way to uh, learn about science. Uh, yeah, that kids can uh, get involved with. And they don't get bored. <laughs> They'll no, listen it's, to it's you. it's so. not boring at all. So, so if someone wants to get involved in this, uh, how, how do you go about it? Uh, well, as I was saying, uh, they can check out uh, the Global Space Balloon Challenge or, um, uh, to find out technical information about how to do it yeah. and um, link up with other people in the community. And uh, it's a contest. It's uh, gotten pretty big. It's in April. So. Yeah, fun. Any advice for up-and-coming photographers in the field? Well, uh, you know, to find something really uni unique and to make your own, um, sometimes you have to go to extreme lengths. And uh, if you can find something that appeals to the popular imagination, that certainly helps. Yeah. And you have an artistic eye, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> She's head in space. It's a great thing. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Photographer John, John Flay, we appreciate you being with us this evening. Thank you very much. Excellent. And we put more information about his work on our website. You can see it as well, tmj4.com slash Wisconsin Tonight.